Okay, so we've made good progress so far. The next adventure is about CSS because there is almost no web pages without CSS. So this problem will ask us to apply static middleware, which we already know how to do, and also apply stylus middleware to process the stylus files. Stylus is similar to less or SAS CSS. It's a framework to write CSS files. So Express.js will use this middleware to compile stylus files on the fly and create some uh, style sheets for us. So this is the style sheet that uh, the workshop has for us, but you can also create it by yourself. And this is the template. The template will pour into that file. So both of both the template and uh, the stylus file uh, provided, but we can create them manually as well, as long as they're exactly the same. Okay, so now let's go to the editor and start creating our small server. So, as always, I'm creating a new file. So it's adventure number five. And uh, I start with uh, importing the dependencies. The main dependencies is obviously the framework itself. And then I'm creating the Express app. And again, I'm using app.use to apply a middleware. In this case, the middleware is called Stylus. That's the NPM name. We will need to install it later. And uh, I'm invoking method middleware to which I pass the argv3. And the static, you're already familiar with that. I'm also passing argv3. And then I'm listening on argv2. So what is happening here? On line four, I'm telling stylus like, hey, this is the folder where you should look for any of the style sheets. And if you have the name match, then uh, just go ahead and compile that into normal CSS and serve that. And then uh, static the same if you have any index.html files or any other files uh, in the actual folder, you can use that. So let's add something more uh, to make our application smarter a little bit. So it's not only going to work with the workshop, it will also work with humans when we go to the browser and would also work with our custom, let's say, public. I already have this public folder. And here I will also point to the public. So now I need to create those two files. One is index.html, HTML, and another one is main.style, S-T-Y-L. So that's all the styles I have. So P the paragraph will be with color red and in stylus you can use semicolons but they're optional what is not optional is white space so this is invalid this is valid and then index.html is very simple what it will have it will have one paragraph and then it, in the head it will point to that uh, style but it will point to .css so express.js is smart when it sees that CSS and we apply the stylus middleware, it will automatically look for that source file and compile it into the output, which is CSS. So slash main.css, that will be the root, not the public, because public is just internal name. Static middleware will expose everything in the public folder as a root. And then in the body, I'm using that paragraph and uh, it will have the red color. Let me fix the indentation and uh, we're good to go. Okay, so again, that means we need to install stylus. 
npm space i is just a shortcut for npm install. Okay, so now let's run. Now please keep in mind that all those pipes and logical ORs in uh, 5-css.js, uh, they are optional, so they are not required to pad this uh, workshop because the workshop already have these files. So we don't need to create these files. It's just me showing you how the actual server will work. So uh, it's running fine. We can verify it. Okay, the verification passed. The solution, this is the official solution. And uh, just for the fun of it, I'm using uh, Nodmon. Nodmon is a great tool. You can install it with npm install g Nodmon. It's great because it automatically restarts your process on any file changes. Okay, so now go to the browser and I'm seeing this paragraph. So what's happening? I'm here at the root, but actually when you're at the root, by the default, by the convention, uh, server will look for index.html, and then that index.html, let's inspect it. So it points to this main.css, and actually that's that looks like a real file if we open it in a new tab. Yeah, it looks like any normal file, but there is no such file. There is no main.css. It's automatically on the fly created by Express.js because Express.js is so amazing. What we have, we have a source file. Source file will look different. We don't have curly braces. We don't have semicolons. And then uh, in style, you can create uh, inheritances. You can create all kinds of interesting things which you cannot create in CSS. So stylus is amazing. Now let's go to the terminal, kill this process. We already verify it, so let's see, search completed. Okay, it says completed, so we're done here.